A lot of information comes through there. Now, I'm gonna show you something else. Call it represents the same thing as that other one. Except it's a it's a more it's more like a robot. But basically, he is that piece of equipment with legs and arms and things. So he walks around and does the same thing that that one does, but he doesn't require a pilot. He he will land on the planet, manipulate if he needs a the blaster rock. He has a small blaster built in each of his 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 griffin claws. He blasts a piece of material off where he wants, and then he takes his claw, opens it up, and he grabs it and he manipulates. He's got the big one for bigger bigger material, and he's got a little one here for grabbing smaller pieces of material. And he's got endless places where he can analyze all it, and then he has rockets and things in, in, his, in him so he can go off and go back to the, the, the spacecraft that he brought, was brought there in, because he can't travel through all out space. He can travel to small distances, like from, from ship to planet, and maybe to a, from asteroid to asteroid. But he's not built to travel throughout all the space to far distant planets. I mean, they, they have, probably have things like that. I haven't asked, really asked about it, but they probably have robot like creatures like this that can go anywhere they send them to. Because their, their, their um, propulsion systems are not gas propulsion like our rocket on Earth. It uses the high in proportion of electromagnetic dynamic energy fields. In other words, it pushes against a planet with a force of opposite reaction, like two North Pole magnets put together or two South Pole magnets put together. Now that's the thing, South and South will repel, North and North will repel, but a North and a South will not repel. They will attract each other. In other words, if this thing, if the Earth field is, is, a, is a negative field and you put you generate a negative field with this it's going to push it away from the planet but in order to re-entry you have to generate a, a negative to a positive because this thing is flying out with a two negative with a negative field and it wants to go back down it reverses polarity and it brings it back to the earth in other words instead of pulsing away from it it pulls towards it the field draws it back to the earth and then once you get to a within to an orbital, orbital um, the field of the Earth, it re restores small little um, systems in it to slow it down and causes it not to hit hit the Earth, you know, hover or whatever it wants to do, because it can increase in the field in such a way that the weight the weight proposition of its, its mass, if it puts enough it puts enough force in its magnetic propulsion so that its mass. It kept floating. It's like, like a balloon. If you let a balloon go that ain't got nothing tied to it, it'll just float away. But if you put a small amount of weight on it, just a small amount, it won't float all the way up, but it might stay in a, a, a certain place. It might make it hover between the ceiling and all the middle of the room. So that, it's, it's, that's, that's the equivalent of what this thing does. Okay, now, let me show...